nanotechnology researchers at the Energy Lab use some very sophisticated scientific instruments in their research. Dr. Christopher Matranga will show us two of the instruments and explain their capabilities. So this is a very specialized piece of instrumentation that we use here at the Energy Lab for looking at different types of nanotechnology. Uh, it has all of the different pieces of analytical equipment that we need to determine the structure and composition of some of the nanoparticles that uh, we're interested in studying. Uh, what's nice about this that in addition to being able to determine the composition, we also have some very specialized forms of microscopy in this portion of the instrument here. Uh, two different types of microscopy, scanning tunneling microscopy and atomic force microscopy. What's great about these microscopies, particularly the scanning tunneling microscopy, is it allows us to get an atomic scale look at some of the nanomaterials that we're interested in. We can actually image individual atoms in crystal lattices inside of this uh, specialized microscope so that we can get a better understanding of how the nanotechnology works that we're interested in here at the Energy Laboratory. So this is another piece of specialized equipment that we use here at the Energy Laboratory. Uh, this piece of equipment right now is looking predominantly at uh, different types of materials for CO2 capture. Uh, we're using this actually to try to harness energy uh, to convert CO2 into more useful types of materials. Uh, we've designed a special system here that allows us to control the atmosphere uh, for the reactions that we run so we can control the amount of CO2 that we use during reactions. And then we use what's called Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy to monitor the reaction and to look at the disappearance of carbon dioxide and the appearance of the products that we make, things like methanol and methane. 